One great feature of Explain Everything is the ability to open a PDF in a new project. Once I have my PDF into Explain Everything, I can write on it, add text, and record my voice. For example, I would like to use a graphic organizer with my students in Explain Everything. Before I find the PDF on the internet, I need to make sure I am in the main screen in Explain Everything. If you aren't in this screen that you're seeing right here, your PDF will be added to the project that is currently open. So you'll want to be sure that you are in this screen so that your graphic organizer opens in a new project file. I made sure that I'm in the main screen and explain everything before I grab my graphic organizer from the internet. I'm going to close out of explain everything and I'm going to go to Safari. One website that I know that has graphic organizers that are PDFs is Holt Interactive Graphic Organizers. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to grab the KWL Graphic Organizer. I'm going to click on it and it's going to open up. At the very, very top, I'm going to tap the screen one more time, a black bar will show up at the top. It goes away pretty quickly, so if it goes away, all you need to do is tap the screen again. And then I'm going to tap on Open In. This is giving me lots of different options for apps that I can open up this PDF in. But I want to open it up and explain everything, so I just tap on Open and Explain Everything. And it's now creating a new project file with my graphic organizer. We're going to wait for it to load. And now my graphic organizer is in Explain Everything. I can pinch my fingers closer together to make it smaller. I can zoom in. I can move it around if I need to. And now I have the ability to use the pencil tool to write on it. And if I click on the hand tool up in the upper left corner, now my writing stays on my graphic organizer. Now when I'm using the pencil tool, down below there are different colors that I can choose from. So I can push and hold on the blue and it will give me other options of colors to use. So I might choose red. If I push and hold on the pen icon, I can get different widths or different pen tips to write with as well. And sometimes I need a little bit more room to write with. So I'm going to push on the hand up the top and I'm going to zoom in so that I have more space to write with the pencil tool. So I'm going to write our topic. I can hit the hand tool and zoom back out if needed. And I can write down what I know. So I can zoom back in and write bears eat salmon for what I know. I can hit the hand tool again and then zoom back out if I need to. And I love the feature that the pen tool stays on the graphic organizer and I can zoom in as much as I need to and zoom back out and my pencil stays on my graphic organizer. I'm going to show you the steps again on how to bring in a PDF from the internet into Explain Everything. But first, because I have my project open, if I were to go to Safari right now and open up another graphic organizer, it's going to add to this project. So I want to save this project so I have a new one. So I'm going to click on the folder with the arrow going down, and I'm going to name this Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Bear KWL. And then I'm going to hit Save. And then I'm going to hit the house button in the bottom right hand corner. So now my Grizzly Bear KWL has saved into all of my projects in my main screen of Explain Everything. So now because I'm back at this screen, I can now go back to the internet and open up another graphic organizer if I need to. So I'm going to click back and maybe I want to use the Venn diagram. So I click on the Venn diagram. See there's that black bar again that just showed up. It goes away pretty quickly so all I have to do is tap on the screen. Click on Open In, and then there's the Open and Explain Everything. I tap on it, and my Venn diagram is now being added to explain everything. Now because the hand tool has been highlighted in the upper left hand corner, I can move my graphic organizer around. I can turn it if I need to. I can zoom out. I can zoom in. I can use the pencil tool. So maybe we're comparing elephants and bears. 
And if I have the hand tool, my pencil stays right on the page. Now I want to make sure that I save this, so I'm going to click on the arrow going down with the folder. I'm going to type Venn diagram, elephants, bears, hit save. Then I'm going to hit the house button. So now that I have that Venn diagram to go back to at a later time.